Hello, everyone. I hope you're all doing wonderful. So we are on day four already. You're doing wonderful. I'm happy you're here with me. So today, um, I'm just going to ask you guys a couple uh, questions to kind of ponder and think about as we continue with this month of being simply grateful. So the first question I have for you is first, how are you feeling? Are you feeling grateful? Um, I know this month we can sometimes feel a little overwhelmed and um, that there's a lot going on. Um, the weather's starting to change, but as the weather changes to, um, you know, and some people really love this time of year and love the gloominess when it is um, maybe a little rainy and gloomy. For me, I love the sunshine. So. Um, I'm always extra happy when, when there's some extra sunshine. Today it is sunny out and the trees are just so beautiful. Uh, they're starting to show, um, you know, that the leaves are falling. So just being grateful for every little thing this time of year. But my question for you, like I said, is how are you feeling today? Just a little check-in. Remember there's no right or wrong answer. The next question is, what is something that you use every day that is a simple pleasure? For me, it's coffee. I love coffee, all kinds of coffee, iced, hot. Um, I also love tea, uh, another simple pleasure that I have. And um, I also love my dogs so very much. I have two English Bulldogs and they offer me unconditional love. So those are a couple of my simple pleasures that I have that um, I sometimes take for granted because I always think that they're just going to be there. So think about a couple, a couple simple pleasures that you experience and you know that you enjoy every day and maybe write those in your journal. The next question I have for you is, the next question is, hold on one second. I have it down here. What was one thing that made you smile within the last 24 hours? You know, uh, a smile is so important. And then when somebody else sees a smile, they often smile. When somebody smiles at us, we typically smile. So turning that frown upside down um, can simply add some simple uh, pleasures to your day. And um, you know, thinking about that person and maybe sending the person that did smile at you or that made you smile um, and sending a little bit of love and light out into the universe or out to that person uh, just mentally. You can also send um, a person that is that you're grateful for uh, a little text or a note. Um, getting snail mail is so nice. So uh, finding that person's address and sending them a little message. So just a couple things that you can do today to bring uh, gratitude into your heart. And um, as always, continue to journal and write in your, um, those prompted questions, you know, checking in how you're feeling. Um, one simple gratitude, one person that you're grateful for, and then that self-care action. Um, one of the things that you can do as you uh, as the weather changes and gets a little cooler, is taking a nice warm bubble bath. And, you know, something we don't do often, I don't do often, but whenever I do, I love it so much. Um, and you can free write, always an option there. Thank you as always. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm grateful you're here and namaste.